This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. The cost of preference shares is a very simple calculation to go through and calculate within any exam question. To be able to work out where the formula comes from, again, what we need to go through and do that is use the dividend valuation model. So we assume that we have a dividend that goes from today into infinity like we had previously with our cost of equity but the key bit that we have now is that there is no growth so therefore the cost of preference shares is essentially the same as the cost of equity but if there is no growth then g is equal to zero so therefore what we go through and have and what you will need to remember is that the cost of preference shares is the dividend divided by the price x div and if you want you can multiply it by 100 to go through there and convert it into a percentage so essentially the cost of preference shares is the cost of equity but with a growth rate equal to zero because your dividend does not grow as we pay a constant annual dividend every single year based upon the percentage coupon rate and the par volume so let's go through and have a look at it with an example nice and straightforward the example that we've got there is called more it wants us to go through there and work out the cost of preference shares so the cost of preference shares that it wants is there as kp again here you can see that the coupon rate is eight percent which we will apply is it to the par value of a dollar and the market value there is at one dollar and ten cents it's quoted x div so that there is p0 x div so to go through that and to perform the calculation, it should be nice and straightforward. The dividend is going to be 8% of, is it the par value? So that's vitally important that you make sure you take the coupon rate based upon the par value and not the market value. And then we divide that, don't we? By, is it the market value X div at $1.10? If you tap that into your calculator on the top, you should have is it 0.08 divided by 1.10 and if you work that through it should give you is it 7.3 percent as you multiply the answer by 100 to convert the decimal into a percentage that's it it's no more difficult than that the only bit that i would draw your attention to is the tiny little bit that you have the within the notes is that that dividend that we pay is not tax deductible so when we start looking at debt we will see that the interest that we pay on the debt allows us to reduce our tax that we pay and we will make adjustments for that within our calculation here the dividend is not tax deductible so there is therefore no adjustment to be made just be careful i could see it within an exam question that you could have a similar scenario to what you have there with more and they would throw in a tax rate and you may use that tax rate to make some form of tax adjustment key bit preference shares are not tax deductible per the tax authorities other than that that goes through there and covers everything you need to know about the cost of preference shares and its calculation